What's up, broski? I want to talk about Lars Sullivan, the WWE wrestler. He's back in the news again. Uh, I guess this guy's getting into, into some trouble again. Uh, I'm sure most of you know who that is. WWE wrestler, right? He was supposed to be the next Brock Lesnar. But I think Vince McMahon changed his mind on him. Once that gay porn tape resurfaced of him uh, getting his hairy balls and asshole licked by some soy boy cuck. And he was also kissing and making out with uh, this soy boy in a fucking office. This was before Lars Sullivan made it big. I think he said that he made the gay porn because he was struggling financially. <laughs> Whatever, broski. Anyway, so this guy... um. Yeah, he's getting in trouble with some skanks. A couple of skanks are exposing him uh, because he's been harassing women online. And, and, they, and they've been screenshotting his messages and posting it all over social media. You know, I think one message is, uh, I think it's his, I think it's his yoga, a yoga constructor or some shit. Someone that he knew personally. And he was messaging her all, all kinds of creepy, just just creepy simp shit like, ooh, uh, I would love to see what you look like or with your pants off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder what you taste like. <laughs> hey, baby, what's up? You want to hook up with me? So, yeah, he's getting shamed. He's getting his messages screenshotted. Women are saying that he's harassing them and shit like this. But you know what? I, I think I know why Lars Sullivan is doing this, broski. He's trying to get people's minds off the fact that he used to do gay porn, okay? He's trying to get that image out of people's heads where he was in an office kissing and making out with a fucking soy boy. Oh, hey, let's rub nipples. Let's rub our nipples together. It looks like that. that's what they were doing, broski, right? I, let me tell you something. I saw short clips of this stuff, the ones that Facebook allowed, and that was uh, the first one I saw of him kissing and making out with a soy boy. Oh, yeah, let's rub our nipples together, and oh, yeah, we're going to have fun. <laughs> we're real men here, <laughs> and shit like this. And I think they started tonguing each other. And uh, the closest I saw to the fornication was the still shots. Because I wasn't going to go look it up on fucking Pornhub and all that shit, broski. But... I saw the still shots, I remember, I think, on Twitter or something or on Facebook. And you see Lars Sullivan clearly clearly laid out in bed with his hairy fucking asshole and hairy cock. And some soy boy cuck is going down on him, licking his taint and everything. So, yeah, I'm sure Lars Sullivan, being ashamed of what he did, he's trying to prove to the world, to people online, like, oh, hey, look, I'm going to message a bunch of women and make people think that uh, I love women. <laughs> yeah, let me start harassing women. <laughs> Bro, this guy's a fucking idiot. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, he just needs to be careful. If this is his goal, all right, fine, I can see it. But he just needs to be careful because one of these skanks may come out and say that he sexually assaulted them. I don't know. Let me know what you think of this Lars Sullivan drama <laughs> later. <laughs>